Hello, and thank you for joining the workflow tutorial. I'm Sam, and I'll be your guide through the revised workflow and its functionalities. Throughout this tutorial, we'll be discussing the processes of approving, editing, and declining content submitted by your team of editors. The workflow empowers administrators with extensive control over all published content on your site, ensuring a thorough review before it goes live. You have the option to choose between a cluster or a chain of people for approval. A cluster, for instance, might require approval from one of three designated individuals before content goes live. On the other hand, a chain involves a sequential approval process, where three individuals must approve in a specific order. Chains are less common due to their complexity and potential delays in case an approver is unavailable. We generally recommend starting with a cluster, but we're flexible and can adjust based on your needs. All workflow processes are set up by Revise, so if you haven't already, feel free to contact us and we'll assist you in setting up these initial approval processes. Now, let us take a look at the processes and go through the steps. Let's start off by looking at how to set the workflow process for a page. From any page in which you would like to set it up, click on Admin Panel, then click on Permissions. You will then get a pop-up with the current workflows that have been set up. Only when the workflow process is configured, these options become available on your website. For instance, on this website shown here, we have set up multiple approval processes. If a page is set to inherited, it means it's adopting the approval process from its parent page, usually the home page. To make changes, simply choose from the available workflows. If you've set up workflows with us, you'll always have a default workflow, which implies automatic publishing without approval. Alternatively, you can select specific workflows, such as Sheriff or AC workflow, each associated with different groups of approvers. After making your choice, click Save, and the workflow is applied not only to the current page but also to its child pages. While many clients focus on high-priority pages for approval, you have the flexibility to subject every page to workflow approval. Once set, these configurations often remain stable, with changes being infrequent. Editors, including admins, become subject to the workflow, ensuring that even approvers must go through the approval process for their edits. Now let's go over the approval process. Upon attempting to publish an edit, approvers receive email notifications, which will look similar to this. These emails contain a simple message with a link to view the task and details about the changes made. It's essential to keep the email message simple to ensure prompt delivery. One thing to note, if you encounter issues with email notifications, make sure to check your spam folder. Now you can click the link which takes you to the content management system, where you can log in and view the task. Upon entering your username and password, you will need to undergo two-factor authentication. Retrieve the code from your email and enter it here, along with your password. Now that we are in the admin center, we will have the following options when it comes to approving the edits for the current page. We have a few options once we get to this page that are important to the admin that is approving the changes. First, there's the preview feature, enabling you to view the modifications within the page. By clicking on it, you'll be able to see the page and get a glimpse of how it will appear once you approve the edits. Next, we have the Compare option. This allows you to assess the alterations by comparing them with the original page before the current edit request. After examining the edits, your primary task is to either approve or reject them. Approving the changes will publish them to the live site. On the other hand, rejecting the request will dismiss it, and no changes will be published live. When rejecting, you also have the option to include a comment for the editor to view. The editor will get an email saying why the change was reject, and from there they go into the dashboard to edit or resubmit. In cases of chain approval, you may see notifications for changes rejected or changes approved based on the previous approver's decision. Admins can manage all workflows from the admin dashboard, offering a centralized view of pending events under tasks. While we strive for a seamless setup, variations in features may require some testing and adjustments. We appreciate your patience as we fine-tune the workflow to suit your specific needs. For additional assistance or questions, contact support at revise.com or submit a ticket at support.revise.com. We're also happy to provide individual demos or training sessions. Thank you for watching, and we're always here to assist.